Hello, this video is about how to install a Windows 8.1 64-bit enterprise evaluation copy into VirtualBox. The outcomes would be to download a Windows 8.1 evaluation copy. This is good for 90 days. Create a VirtualBox virtual guest for your downloaded ISO file. Install Windows 8.1 as a VirtualBox virtual computer update Windows 8.1, and finally install VirtualBox Guest Editions. The requirements would be an internet connection, a Microsoft account. The video does not cover how to obtain the account. You'll have to go to Microsoft and do this on your own. Enough memory to run both Windows 8.1 64-bit and the host operating system. It's a minimum of 2 gigabytes for Windows 8.1 plus the required memory for host operating system. This demonstration uses Ubuntu 12.04 as a host operating system. It's also recommended you have a multiple core processor and hardware virtualization enabled. Another requirement is that you use VirtualBox 4.3.6 or higher. Additional info, you've got your system requirements and you can download an evaluation copy from IT evaluation or developer evaluation and if you run into some problems you can take a look at the user manual from VirtualBox. While I have researched this material I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out so I've been asked to include a disclaimer. If you wish you can stop the video and read the disclaimer here I am on an Ubuntu machine, but I've gone to the Evaluation Windows 8.1 Enterprise Download Center so I can evaluate a version of Windows 8.1 in a virtual machine. So I'm going to select a version, and I'm going to pick 8.1 64-bit, get started now. Now it asks you to sign in, so you have to have an account. In this case, I'm Win8 Tester, BabaRainer.com, and I've got a password. I'm going to click uh, Keep Me Signed In and sign in. And ask for information in the language and one question you have to ask what's your purpose of downloading uh, Windows 8.1 Enterprise and basically I'm going to choose test my company software within the Windows 8.1 Enterprise because I'll be testing VirtualBox you can choose your own now here's a question that you're going to have to answer. You have to select from the following operating systems you're running currently and you can see that uh, don't have really any any of them so I'm just going to pick Windows 8 and the language and if you'd like to hear for from Microsoft or Microsoft partners just click the email or email address down here click continue you've got some information about system requirements what's new type of information and then you want to download the file to download here's the ISO file I know about all this other information and I'm going to click save file now if you look up here you say display the par progress and it says 37 minutes Actually, let's let's click on this, so we can see, you know, to kind of watch what's going on, and I'll come back when it's fully downloaded. Here the file is; it's it's downloaded, and if you want to check on it, go to the home folder, and we'll go to the download section, and right here it is. So it's downloaded. Next section is to build up a. Uh, VirtualBox virtual machine to install this. Here I am in the Oracle VM VirtualBox manager and I'm going to set up a uh, 
new virtual machine for Windows 8.1 and call it Windows 8.1 eval operating system Microsoft Windows and let's change it to Windows 8.1 64-bit click Next and it says minimum is 2048 so I'm going to add 256 to that and make that a 2304 if I've got my math right click Next create a virtual hard drive create VDI disk image next and we'll leave it dynamically allocated next and we'll change this to 50 gigabytes create I'm going to go check something on system so we've got 2304 processor I'm going to leave to 1 I've heard some problems check acceleration make sure these two are selected. I'm working on an Ubuntu laptop here. And let's go on to display. Now it says 128 megabytes. I've heard a lot of people say I shouldn't enable 3D acceleration because if I do it could create some problems. So I'm just going to leave that blank. Click OK here. Storage. Controller. I'm going to go to where the ISO is. Choose it's the 9600. Make sure you get the right one. This is a, a uh, Windows 8 right here. This is Windows 8.1. 3.5 gig. Click Open. Click OK. Network should be default. We'll just leave that OK. So that should be it to start the virtual machine. I'm going to start Windows 8.1 Val. Start it. We're going to have to wait a bit. And up comes the first screen on Windows Setup English, United States, US. Click Next. And then Install Now. And you're going to have to accept the license term. Click Next. You get a choice here. In my case, I'm going to install. Click Next. So we've got uh, copying files going through. And next section is getting files ready for installation. And this section, I believe, will take some time. You notice you did not have to put in a uh, Windows key to get started, but this is an evaluation copy and it will only run for 90 days. Getting files ready for installation has just completed. Installing features has just completed. Now we're into installing updates. That's completed. This is finishing up. And I'll restart. And if you want to move it, you can restart now. I'm going to make it so it doesn't show that message again about mouse integration getting devices ready getting devices ready 100 percent continuing with getting ready restarting that says press any key to boot from CD or DVD you do not want to press a key because that means it'll try and reinstall itself or Windows 8.1 will try and reinstall from the CD or DVD. Just let it do its thing. So it says give, give the PC a name. So I'm going to call it Win81 Eval. Let's pick a color. I really have no preference here. Well, blue is a Windows color. We hope that doesn't mean I'll get a blue screen of death. Now it says Express Settings. I'm not going to play with these for the first install, so I'm going to use Express Settings. It says Checking Internet Connection. And I'm going to set up an account. Okay, I can sign into 
Microsoft account and if I don't have an account I can sign in without an account if, or I can create a new account but I do have an account so I'm going to use that tester win 8 at lavarainer.com put in the password in all honesty I would try and create a name username on the computer without having to log in using an account click next your email or password is incorrect whoops that's right it's win 8 tester well sorry about that you create evaluation accounts you don't try and memorize everything this is the same password and username that I used to download the file but now it seems I don't have a Microsoft account uh, or there must you have to create a separate account so basically I'm going to go down here and create a new account and then down here I have to sign in without a Microsoft account so I'm creating a uh, kind of tricky there so I'm going to give him Mike as a username password password and a password hint I guess I have to create a separate account for Microsoft besides the evaluation account again we've got this uh, press any key to boot from CD or DVD I'll show you how to get rid of that is you go up here to the devices and where it says CD instead of you see that the 900 600 check check host drive here and let's verify that it got checked and you see that now it's checked so you'll, you won't see that come up again and let's go back and see what Windows doing it's trundling along which is high and it says I can get new apps from the store and it's installing some apps there are two things that have to happen to make sure that everything works correctly one I have to update Windows 8.1 and the second thing I have to do is install VirtualBox guest editions and generally what I do is do all the updates first and then install the guest editions. I'll let this thing trundle along and when I can go and install the uh, updates, I'll come back. Here I am in the Windows. It appears we're ready to go ahead and start. Click down here, see what that does. It gives my apps. Now you notice I don't really have all my Windows here, so let's. I can go to the control panel and go to system and security and I'm going to go to Windows update and I'm actually going to check for updates here and this is similar to what Ubuntu does when you do a sudo apt get update and it goes through and finds all the updates available for Windows 8. Now uh, you may have to go through this and do it two or three times. Check for updates, install updates in order to get all the updates. Again, it trundles. It usually takes me about two or three hours to get a uh, Windows install, Windows 8.1 install done with all the updates and everything. After about 45 minutes of going through the Windows update looking for the updates it says you're set to automatically install updates 24 important updates are available now uh, one thing I need to add that I may have a slow internet connection because this video is being recorded through a remote desktop off an Ubuntu machine 
So that may slow down my internet. So I'm going to set to automatically install the updates. Basically, what's going to happen now is the updates are going to have to be downloaded and then installed. So I'm going to select these and click install. So again, it's going to take quite a bit of time. I'll come back later when they're installed and we'll see about going through and in installing the uh, guest editions. Now, I don't know if you've noticed it, but down here in the corner it says evaluation is expired, bill 9600. I don't know why it says evaluation is expired. I just downloaded this copy of Windows 8.1 for evaluation purposes today to see if it would work with VirtualBox. And I do have an account with Microsoft for this evaluation where they actually send me emails at Win8Tester about what's going on as far as future updates are concerned and such. But we'll continue with this install and see what happens. Here we have, we've switched to installing updates. So now I'm installing update 2 of 23. Again, I'll come back when we're through with the uh, updates installed. And then, of course, you're going to have to restart the system and install VirtualBox Guest Editions. Windows 8.1 is shutting down, uh, keeping the PC on until this is done, installing update 3 of 23, and I imagine it's going to, after it shuts down, it's going to start right back up. So here, I guess it really hasn't shut down, even though it said it would shut down, so it keeps... Uh, gives a message, keep your P PC on until this is done, installing update 5 of 23. And when the, all the updates are installed, it'll come back. Here the computer is working on updates. Now it's shutting down. Restarting. Now it's shut down. You will have to restart the computer manually. Windows 8.1 in VirtualBox will not restart by itself. Right click on Windows 8 Eval, click on Start. Finally you get a working on updates 35 percent complete or something like that. Do not turn off your computer message. Now it says 100 percent complete. Up comes the startup screen correct time and everything. Click Start. Log in. Now it comes this uh, search settings and other charms. Now the way the window was set up, I tried to click up in the corner and I couldn't get rid of that uh, window. So I may be unfamiliar with Windows 8.1 or it may be just simply the way the screen is set up currently. So go ahead and set up install guest editions. Insert guest edition CD image. Now behind the orange arrow you'll see the pop-up window. You need to select and click on the first selection up there. If you see that first selection there, click on it. There it goes. It will go through a number of screens from user account control. Click yes. Here we have the install next. Click next. Install. And finally click on finish. It will restart again with the startup screen. Log in. Go ahead and take a look at it and you'll see we should auto resize guest display. Click on that and there it goes. Now you've installed evaluation copy of Windows 8.1. You have 90 days to take a look at it and play with it and see if you like it or if you don't like it or basically if you like it enough to pay for it. Just to verify that everything works here. Start Internet Explorer.
And that's pretty much it. Thank you.